God, when I got some of your friends' stickers in the mail. I, did you? Did you yeah. say that? I'll say put that. them on the back. I'll put them on the back of the old laptop. We got a largemouth bass wearing a Tennessee hat and then just a Tennessee hat on top of the water. I also have a T-shirt coming that says, Bill Dance for President. Yeah, it'll work. And work. It hasn't come in yet. That'll work. So if you could send him a text and say, yeah, I know he's packing all of them himself. But Bill ain't ever going to be president. He needs to be. No. Nah, he's, he's younger than he the current. Well, hey, the thing about it, though, he's got better <laughs> sense than that. Well, he ain't well, going to be able to Won't nobody. That's it. He, he won't, won't know how fish. And he won't tell nobody. That's right. But he'd have a heck of a stock pond in the back of the White House. <laughs> <laughs> he'd probably build one out front. That's right. Hey, put it in the You think yard. there's any fish in that giant square pond? That Forrest Gump went wading through? Uh-huh. I doubt it. Too shallow. Is that a fountain or a pond? Bunch of frogs. I ain't never been there. Have you ever been to Washington, D.C.? Uh, yes, sir, I have. Have you waded across that square no, pond? No, I haven't. <laughs> I'm I've seen ducks on it. I know it's got ducks because I've seen them. How cool would it be to hunt that pond? Yeah, that pond. Hey, whack and stack them, boy. Them, them ducks wouldn't, they, they didn't used to people. All the problem is you get to shooting around there, people probably going to shoot back. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it may be the problem. <laughs> yeah, that might be. You may get may be an issue. I heard you talking about ducks. We were sitting on deer stand yesterday. I'm in the mountains of Arkansas. Okay. And there's a creek running right behind us. Ooh, that's a good duck. And I'm, that's a good deer hunt. And they was wood ducks in that thing, just playing and getting on the bank. Well, well they're having a good time. And, yeah. Okay. I was yeah. thinking, well, that's the last thing I thought I'd see up here in the mountains. Some woodies? Yeah. And then I I, messed around. I was looking at them, you know, and all that. And then I turned back around looking up. We was in lock on. Paula was right here beside me. And she said, Duck. And I'm like, yeah, I done seen them 10 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, we seen them five minutes ago. <laughs> she didn't say duck. She said buck. Oh, oh, she didn't say duck. So I didn't pay no attention to uh, that. Okay. You duck got zoned in on it. Hey, I had a translator. <laughs> yeah. It was not duck. It was buck, buck. Yeah. So did Miss hey. Paula finally strike? No. Still a deer watcher. She ain't hungry hey, enough yet. Quit oh, feeding that fun to watch. Quit feeding that woman, Gobble. Yeah. You quit feeding her, she'll shoot you, boy. Oh, yeah. Right. I fix that. If, hey, tell oh, her, hey, look. Done pile the dough, I'm going to quit. Yeah. You're going to need to tell her. Hey, I'm going to quit taking you if you ain't going to shoot nothing. Well, she said she wants to shoot a buck with her bow. And uh, she said, oh, I'll pile him. You can shoot a doe anytime. I said, well, I get that 6'5 well, in hey, my hand. I'll, I'll feel the well, freezer. Send that, send that arrow down range and let's have a little steak yeah. tonight. Yeah, send her now anytime. Yeah. Like, yeah. Get the whooping on. Well, she picked her hand up and put it on her bow. And I went, okay, okay. And she let it back down. Put it that back down. The deer walked off. She said, too young. Too young. Too young. Mm. Well, me and BK. She said, I got bigger horns than that on the wall. Hey, me and BK didn't do that. Oh, yeah, you went hunting. Yeah, we went hunting, too. South he went Texas. whacking and stacking. Oh, yeah. Hey, we he went, went to hunting. one of them high-polluting places. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's high fence, too. High-polluting <laughs> <laughs> and high fence. Yeah. yeah. And, hey, this fun. I, you know, I don't know what the big deal is about people who don't like high fence. <clears throat> okay. Tell them about it. Yeah, what it is, it's stupid. Okay, yeah. It depends on the size. I, I know ranches, okay, that are thousands of acres. Yeah. What if, what's the big deal if you got a fence around it? Around your boundary. Okay. Because you're going to sit on a deer stand and you're only going to be on what? 10 acres? Hey, planted? buddy. I got a fence around my yard in the neighborhood. No, no. Best yeah. believe I buy a piece of property. It's going to have a fence. No, too. no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that ain't to keep animals in. That's no. to keep humans out. Yeah. Keep everybody out. Yeah. That's to keep young youths like myself yeah. from the poaching. Youths. <laughs> but BMBK was at triple. Eagle Ranch, okay, with Eddie and his son, Justin. Did you see three eagles? Uh, oh, well, no, no, yes, a whole bunch of eagles on this property. Oh. They're Mexican eagles. Oh, yeah, the Cara Cara. Yeah, Cara Cara. Yeah. Uh, and, hey, mean devils, too. Yeah. Those suckers are mean. Yeah, they cool looking. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty. Yeah. They really are. They're pretty. And, hey, you'd be watching deer, you know, and see two eagles come up there, you know, having combat and having, having uh, you know, they're trying to. Well, the rut is on. Well, hey, if uh, them eagles rut's on, too, because they up there doing all kind of aerobatics. Uh, aerobatics, you know, aerobatics, baby. Aerobatics. 
but no, I killed a nice 12 point. Nice. Okay. A southwestern typical deer. Okay, 24 inch inside spread. Is that it? No. No, I ain't the one. No. Yeah, it is. No, it ain't. It says there it. There he is. Right yeah, there. it is. That's him. That's him. I didn't take a look, good enough look at him, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think he was that tall. Uh, he big, you, I mean, that's you sitting Indian yes, style man. next yeah. to a deer with the well, gun. Hey, on. I didn't notice he's that tall. Hey, but it was, hey, it was a beautiful. Early. There was two of them. It was two of them there, like that. Okay, mm -hmm. under a feeder. Yo, know, and Justin had said me, okay, you know, he's he's a shooter. Which yeah. one's Justin? Uh, the one in the middle. The green. All right. Yep. I got you. He said that's the shooter. It was two of them standing there, about pretty close. Looked like, you know, bros. He said, I can shoot if you want him. Yeah. So, you know, I, I put it on him, squeezed the trigger, and, and the deer acted squirrely. Squirrely. Well, yeah. You know, I just got a whole poke Well, no, me. no, but no, hey. Bet you, know, me. you know, it was a big dust pile kicked up behind him, you know. And he jumped a little bit and just hit. I thought he just went over to the left and then turned around. And then he just come walking back through, looking like he hadn't even been shot. Uh -oh. And I said, I said, yeah, I said, did I miss that stupid deer? Yo. Did you? Well, apparently you didn't. No well, spoiler alert. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> yeah. But what it was, the other one is the one that come walking back. Uh -huh. I was, mine run, run and fell about 10 yards just inside. The, it's the a good thing front. you didn't get confused in all of the melee. No, no. Yeah. no oh, no, I missed him. Let me shoot him again. Yeah, no, no. Cause I, <laughs> you, I was thinking just what you said. I said, well, I need to get on him again. You know, but he'd already went in the brush. And I said, yeah. I, I was Man. fixing to just say, hey, take that belt off and just beat the fire out of me for wounding that deer. Well, you know, But, hey, they went up there and looked. You know, after we sit there about 30 minutes, and, you know, it's a good shot. But he just acted squirrely. You know, but you got, got him. A wheel, yeah, a but I got him, man. Beautiful deer. Yeah, that sucker's yeah. beautiful. You know, and the one BK, of course, she shot hers the evening we got there. Yeah, she ain't waiting on Oh, no, no. She gets in the stand, and they just walk out there. Yeah. Well, she's got a beautiful deer. He's, yeah. what, six years old, I think? Deer slayers. Yeah. Oh, she's a deer magnet. I can't wait to hear Stone's version of these stories. Oh, no. <laughs> they was out there, what, about 30 minutes? 30 minutes. <laughs> 30 minutes. Hey, he Hi, walked yeah. out. Some people got them rabbit's feet. Uh, no, no. Hey, she is a deer magnet. Yeah. Okay. Because when the phone buzzed and, and, and Justin's, you know, we sit in the stand, as soon as I heard that little buzz, you know, I said, yeah, she, <laughs> she done shot her. She done whacked her one more. I already know, I already know that, you know. Mm, 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 mm. Well, that's Where her 16th you? birthday present. So oh, good yeah. for her. Yep. Sweet that 16. Is that what yeah. it was? Mm -hmm. yeah. Sunday. Sunday yeah. was her birthday. She ought not be that old. Who, hey, BK? Hey, BK yeah. has killed more big good deer oh, yeah. than most men 50 years old that's been hunting for 30 years. Yep. Yeah, you need to send Paula hunting with her. I'm telling you, hey. She'll show her where the safety is and the trigger. Hey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and show her where, the, yep. where she's supposed to shoot them. Yeah. Well, that's what Paula <laughs> said. She looked at me. She said, I don't know. She said, I might have messed up there. I said, well, gun season's coming up. Yeah. You got that always in your back. Goblin, yeah. you, you, you having a rough day? Why? Well, you brought a whole pot of coffee with you. I just boy drinks. Most coffee. time you come with a cup. It's evening coffee. But this time, you well, just, they got one now. You can tow it around with you. <laughs> you just, think, hey, fill it up. That's what they call these things. I go, oh, I give up. A pot? Yeah, <laughs> coffee pot. No, they call them something. A craft or what? What do they call that? A carafe? A carafe? Is that what it is? Yeah. I think that's just. A but rate. I thought a carafe was out of glass. Yeah, I think that's uh, just a coffee uh, pot, well, bro. He's by, well, he's this is the cheap. Here, this is the cheap version. This is the cheap version, boys. That's cuisine art. That's fancy, isn't it? I don't know. You it gotta was, go to Bed Bath and Beyond was, to get that. It was in the kitchen. You gotta go in the kitchen to get it. <laughs> so, so if somebody wanting to make a cup of coffee right now, they can't. They're out. <laughs> <laughs> They're out, boys. Nah, yeah, like, like he Bella. stole the pot. In other words, I ran into Bella asking me where the coffee pot went. Found it. <laughs> well, did you yeah. tell her to come in here and get her? A cup? I did. 
Yeah. Did she come get a cup of coffee? No, I think no. she was too scared. She's too scared. Yeah, because this ain't got as much water as they put in there. Yeah, it's, it's a little stouter. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of new people working up here. They frothing stuff, and they got all kinds of... I like, got one of them at the house. I froth it up for Paula. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for all you folks driving out there, I'm yeah, sorry. That's right. That was froth, froth in the coffee. Yeah, yeah. keep it, keep it between the mayo and the coffee. Mustard. Right. Woo, wow, <laughs> boy, howdy, Hunter. Good luck on that one. Good luck on fixing that audio. Goblin, did you plan on getting diabetes this year? I sure didn't. I didn't think so. Nobody really does. I mean, that's expensive. All the stuff you got to test with, check with, all that stuff, right? Uh, them things you put on your arm, good grief. There you go. You never know when unexpected medical costs are going to come up. And look, this is the time of year that has a lot of us think about how we're going to pay for our family's medical bills in 2024. And that's where our friends over at Samaritan Ministries come in. Before you make the final decision, here are some reasons you should take a look at healthcare sharing with Samaritan Ministries. With Samaritan's Ministries, you're a part of a Christian community. When you have a medical need, fellow members send money directly to you to help you pay your medical bills, and you'll do the same for them all while praying and encouraging one another. There are no networks, so that puts you in control of your family's health care. You know what's best for you and your family, so choose the doctors and hospitals you go to and have a say in the treatments that they receive. And you can join today. Start healthcare sharing with Samaritan Ministries the day you complete your membership application or choose what month you'd like to start. It's totally up to you. This is not insurance, it's assurance that you're part of a healthcare sharing community. Samaritan Ministries is a biblical solution to healthcare where we can bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. And it can be more affordable than what you're paying for now. So, look, if you're interested, you never know when these things it can supplement, it can do all kinds of things for you. Whether it's a broken bone, unexpected diagnosis, or other medical emergency, you'll find comfort knowing you're connected to 80,000 Christian households across the nation who stand ready to care for one another spiritually and financially during a time that it's needed most. Become a part of this community today at SamaritanMinistries.org slash duck. That's SamaritanMinistries.org slash duck. Join today. Hey, and it's good-hearted people helping people that need help. Half and half, half off's better than half and half what? Half and half milk or whatever that may. It's half and half. Oh, half and half. It ain't real milk. You don't cook much. It ain't, but, uh, it ain't, I use it heavy ain't whipping real. cream. Well, well it's it almost real, fair, it but not real quite. Milk. Yeah, look at that boy. He ain't used half or nothing. <laughs> that's right. That's right. It's the whole thing. That's right, biblical. Boy, There's yeah. a verse about either going half, all in or uh, being uh, lukewarm. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, right. boys. Heavy half whipping and cream. half, you can do them designs on top. But or other than that. Designs right. on top of coffee? Godwin, do you make coffee art? Yeah. Do you coffee have pictures art. of it? For my woman. You think Godwin stops and takes pictures of his coffee, Hunter? Maybe. But she's using that. I don't know what kind it is. I'd know it if I seen the bottle. But it don't froth up as good as ha half and half. It gets thick, you know. Oh, okay. A lot I, of time I, don't, I don't know because I'm not a I coffee no drinker. Clue. And I'm, coffee drink. I'm way too young you to pour, drink coffee. You pour it right you know, in the good? middle. Go ahead and you bring it to the side. It oh, makes a heart. Would Phil drink it? No. No, he wouldn't put that in there. <laughs> I don't neither. My you woman did. does, though. She calls it a... a Cappuccino? No. Latte. Com commentary? Oh, no. Yes. Uh, uh, what is bravo it? something. Bravo. Brave leche. Yeah. Brave leche. That's what I sure. build her every morning. I don't know. Brave leche? Except that means there's, something with milk in it. It says leche is milk, right? Yeah. Bravo yeah. Like, like a... I don't know. I heard Willie order it. Oh, well, I, then just give her a scoop of ice cream in her cup. That'd be better. It probably That'd would. be better. It would ruin the ice cream. Yeah, but that ain't what oh, no, she wouldn't. It'd I have to fix it what great. she won't. There's coffee people listening to this. My, I mean, not many of them. Oh, they're going to be some comments <laughs> uh, in there. Oh, yeah. Hey. He said Bravo Lake eh? or something. I can't pronounce it. Oh, no. He needs to put a scoop of ice cream in there and then do what he's done. At the Martin House, if you want a cup of Profit. coffee, you, you you held ransom by a Keurig and you just figured get it out. I don't know what to tell you. Keurig. So, yeah, I at least have the pods there so you can make it if you want it. But yeah, I make it yourself. It, so. yeah. We you know, have prof coffee prof stuff. Yourself. My wife, I think she drinks it. Yeah, we have it in case the odd person It takes person so shows long yeah. to make. Oh, if I was, Get a bottle if of water. you had to go to a desert island, coffee would be one of the things I'd take with me. <laughs> uh, in the top, that's like a top three thing. 
Yeah. This coffee? Coffee? Coffee. What happens when you run out? Would well, they beans. never run out? You can take a lifetime supply, can't you? I don't know who's who life. No. Well, I ain't gonna be on it that long. I mean, I I would get off that thing. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't no stone. You give me enough coffee, I'll build me a ship. Yeah, yeah, he build him a ship, buddy. He ain't standing on no desert, deserted island. Uh, not even in my top two hundred. Three hundred, four hundred, five hundred. Not even cost thing I'd it's, be worried It's about probably just above a, a jar of mayonnaise. Yeah, like, oh, <laughs> jar of mayonnaise. No, I would take the mayonnaise first. No, I can at least what drink if you, coffee. But now you can get you a fish, fillet of fish that needs a little mayonnaise. No, oh. it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Yeah, We're stuck. I, We're stuck on an island. No. I don't want that. Yeah, but. that's what. I, that's my other thing. Be a fishing pole. Yeah, <laughs> now that one makes total sense. Yeah, I'm that with one, you. Uh, that's a necessity. And my woman. We're tracking. I wasn't going to get lonesome. Uh-oh, there you go. wasn't going to get lonesome. Um, All right. Is that, I, you got is, me on two out of three. I but just it's don't no know longer, why y'all hey, sit around I'm and drink you, coffee. I'm with you so far. And it's no longer deserted if there's two of you. <laughs> yeah. right. That's, That's right. just called a honeymoon. <laughs> So, Godwin. Godwin. There you go. There you go. Godwin, you wouldn't take a raft Who's to get this off guy? the island? A raft? You can take uh, three things. You wouldn't find a way to get off the island? Just Why Since when are we taking three things? A fishing pole If I got my, a fishing pole and coffee and my woman, uh, he don't why would I want to leave? Yeah. Well, why would he want to leave? He's got everything That's a good needs. point. That's a good point. <laughs> hey, that message coming in straight from Rocky Top over That's here. That's right. Yeah, the producers, are, are, they got lots of questions today. Hey, look, Beth ain't here. It's time for producers run wild. That's my big dog. Wild. She always keeps that string real tight on. That's right. That's right. <laughs> look at there. The yeah. Canadian uh, dog. Beth, Beth, Beth ain't here to, to lay down the law. They just over there talking in mics and That's everything right. else, which how I many can appreciate things, it. How many things can we tote with us? I don't know. You're the one making know. up the rules. Is this the like television show Survivor? Or because you don't get nothing on there. Or just Survivor. like naked and afraid or naked and afraid you get one thing. Or naked what's that? Alone and... you get ten. Alone you get ten? Yeah. That's not even hard then. Oh, ten? Let's see. What else? Yeah, refrigerator. <laughs> sandwich meat. Cheese. Yeah. Bread. You need sandwiches. That's microwave. Yeah, sandwiches. I, and I got five more things. That's what Paula look. She got a ham. When we went to the camp this weekend, and she whacked up that ham, and she was going to put some beans in there and make some, you know. Yeah. But I ate them sandwiches and eat all the ham up. <laughs> she said, <laughs> the ham I can't, laugh. how do you eat them every day? I said, that's one of my favorite foods, ham sandwich. That is true. He signs it everywhere he goes. Oh, no. Hey. Sandwich. It's not a lie. That's, yeah, it's hey, why don't you got good bread, cheese, mustard. That's okay. Mayonnaise. And, and hey, no, throw the mayonnaise out. <laughs> no. Okay. Got to have mayonnaise. Tomatoes and lettuce, hey, they Ooh. ain't nothing better than a fresh ham. On toasted bread. Yeah. toasted bread. Toasted yeah. bread. Yeah. You didn't say toaster. Uh, well, I got ten, ten items. I ain't hey, got he got ten yet. items. There. Hey, toasted. Boy. Said, if we're up to ten, I mean, we're gonna have yeah. sushi on the list before Let's too long. Hey, hey look, you don't even have to have a microwave every toasted. Day. This you was got, a honey ham. A fire can toast it. This is a honey ham, Mark. Yeah, it was <laughs> good. It's a honey. Not that you know, black they forest bowl already. They already sliced sliced. Up. Yeah, all you gotta do is just. Just take a fork and take it off. You know what my yeah. favorite type of ham and is? And then when you get down to the bone, that's when you gnaw that. Oh, that's good. You, the cubed ham. Something about them cubes of ham. Cubes of ham. You ever get the cubed ham and just grab a handful that of it? in the, like on, in, in the. At the pizza at buffet? The buffet? <laughs> yeah. yeah. On there's, top of them salad? You there, bet you it's going on there. There's something good about uh-huh. cubed ham, son. Sitting in that salty water. Little, <laughs> they're like little pink cubes of salt. That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. Uh, it's awesome. Uh, you don't like cubed ham, Martin? No. You couldn't eat a sandwich every day of your life till you died. Yeah, I, I could. I, but I prefer not to. I would rather not. But I mean, I could. I, I do like sandwiches. Good like, ribeye steak. But I couldn't eat the same sandwich. Like I'd have to. There'd have to be some peanut yeah. butter. And well, jelly you up. could. You could there. put mustard on it one day. <laughs> the next day, you put mayonnaise on it. I, I don't know if you've ever out. seen Duck Dynasty, but the reason I got all that mustard ain't because I eat it. Like <laughs> I'm not a condiment guy. I don't. You really are. No, you don't like sauces. I don't. I'm not a sauce guy. I don't I'm like not, that about I, you. I, well, I just think if something's cooked well, it doesn't need a sauce. I just, I don't, I don't, there's no reason to that. camouflage. Well, I like, well, I fix uh, when I fry my duck, I like to dip it in salve. 
Well, you I just like, like fish, snorting my... horseradish. Like, let's just yeah. call it what it is. Every one of your salves has got a half a jar of horseradish. Whole jar. Oh, there jar. you go. If it don't Old jar. jickle your nose, it ain't worth it. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm actually so, with don't them make on it. that. I mean, you'd be better just to wake up in the morning and go, and call it good. <laughs> like, I probably could do that. <laughs> he probably could. I love horseradish. It's always in the door of my refrigerator. I'm aware. Uh, there's there's three things that will be in Godwin's refrigerator. Coffee? Can, nope. Mm -mm. That's in the freezer. No, horseradish, <laughs> sour cream, and mayonnaise. Oh, throw the he mayonnaise. He may not have anything else. Yeah, throw the mayonnaise yeah. sour cream out of there. But them three mm. things are a staple yep. in his refrigerator. <laughs> really? And there's also going to be a sour cream container that's got some form of leftovers in, in the refrigerator. That's so Miss Paula. You have 50 oh. 50 chance on whether you're opening a sour cream or yeah. last week's peas. Yeah. Like, you just don't know. But, mm. which was the same way growing up at my house. The butter, yeah, butter, country crock, bop. country crock. Oh, yeah, no, that ain't that's a that's a stew, huh? Yeah, <laughs> like, hey, I need to get. Oh, you know man, how many people? That's turnip greens. Let me put them back in there. <laughs> you know how many people used to show up to work with just a tub full of butter and then be sad when that wasn't their lunch? Oh, they grabbed the wrong one. Mm -hmm. They yeah. grabbed the actual butter. Yeah. Well, I don't know that I've ever seen one with butter. Our cool whip. Lots of Cool Whip. Cool whip. That's what you yeah. freeze blueberries in. Yep. Cool mm -hmm. Whip containers. Yep. It's, uh, I feel like we need McMillan here to really expound on this because he's a leftover guy. But, <laughs> yeah. you know, no, but, he uh, just puts hamburgers in his bag. Yeah, he, he takes it home with him when he he's does. on a trip. Let me tell you, one he's of the 10 to... things I'm not taking on an island with me is Philip McMillan. Whoa! So. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> well, why wouldn't you I take would him? take McMillan. No. He's handy as a pocket on a shirt. Huh? He's entertaining. He is entertaining. I don't know. Handy's a strong yeah, one. He would is. have the food supply with him. <laughs> yeah, he'd have all been in his yeah, backpack. From, from last yeah. year. You yeah. remember? When, <laughs> oh, man. With him alone, oh. you'd have a little more variety. You would. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Whether you wanted it or not. Yeah, yeah. No doubt. Yeah. We oh. should do an episode of Alone, but just with the six of us. I wouldn't make it. <laughs> well, then we wouldn't be alone. I wouldn't make it. Just oh, all we're six of go us. to separate places? No, of, no, just drop no, us all thing. off together and see the hierarchy of how things work. Where are we going? As a man who loves alone time, like myself, uh -huh. I wouldn't make it. Yeah, I don't like, I no don't like the idea of being on an island with y'all. No chance. But Stone and McMillan would be there, too. Uh, uh, no. No? Mm -mm. Uh, no, he mm. said, ain't no redhead. That's right. <laughs> Ain't no ice Ain't no cream. women. No. Ain't no bed. Ain't no good soft bed. Well, ain't, ain't no my bed. pillow. Yo, yeah. Ain't, no. Ooh. Like. This no. dude said, ain't no women. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look. Ain't no women. Oh, I didn't even say that, but deer hunt was really fantastic for our, our cause we had a, a very good Good looking game board. Well, time out. Oh, okay. Hey, yeah. Time yeah. out. Yeah. We, need, we might need stone. I want to know. I want to no, yeah. reset. Yeah. Because I want size version without stone here. And then yeah. when Alan joins us again, I want that version because something tells me there's probably two different perspectives on this. Oh. So let's take a break. A we'll game be back board. Right night. after this. Drink it while it's hot. Drink it while it's cold. Drink it while it's hot. You Drink know what we're talking about. Yeah, hot. one scoop. One you scoop know that. will do you. Hey, look, if you're trying to take ownership over your health, you need to start by drinking AG1. All the guys here do it. Um, if, you, if you're a long-time listener, you know we've been drinking AG1 for about two, three years now. When I started drinking AG1 daily, it just you feel better getting all those vitamins and minerals. You're going to be ready to tackle your day, and that's because AG1 is a foundational nutrition supplement that supports your body's universal needs like gut optimizations, stress <laughs> management, and immune support. Since 2010, AG1 has led the future of foundational nutrition, continuously refining their formula to create a smarter, better way to elevate your baseline health not only do you replace that once a day multivitamin that claims it has everything in it, but every scoop of AG1 includes prebiotics, probiotics, and digestive enzymes, magnesium and B vitamins for energy support, vitamin C and zinc to help support your immune. It's got everything you need right there in one scoop, all for less than a cup of coffee. Uh, Philip McMillan and his wife swear by it. So AG1 is the supplement I trust to provide the support my body needs daily. And that's why they've been a partner for so long. If you want to take ownership of your health, it starts with AG1. Try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Go to drinkag1.com slash duck. That's drinkag1.com slash duck. Check it out. That's right. 
No, hey, when y'all said a beautiful, you know, young Roller. game warden, female type. Yeah. Okay, Cheyenne was a looker, son. So I Cheyenne, mean, the I, Texas game warden. Yeah, yeah. She comes. She was check, a looker. She came to check Eddie's ranch out, but it was a it was a courtesy visit. She said, "Hey, the game warden is off tonight." And I said, "Well, good, baby. Come over here and sit down beside me." So you actually sat down and <laughs> oh, had a yeah. conversation with oh, a yeah. game warden. No, that well, that's not like well, you. Well, hey, I love so. Yo, could we use the drone? Were you close to San Antonio? Huh? No, we, we didn't go to San Antonio. But you were close to it? Huh? Did you well, find all it? I know is I don't remember any of the towns, but the airport is named Alice. Okay, continue. Yeah. Okay, so that tell people where it's at. That we we landed at the Alice Airport and at Alice, Texas. Yeah, in Alice, Texas. Tower. So you and sat down and broke bread and had yeah. casual conversation with a game. Yeah, and I got to tell the duck hunting story because she she loves the duck hunt. Okay. Okay, and when I told them about hey, that they always according to the Robertsons, I ain't killed nothing. So I told them I said, well, hey, twenty five teal coming there one day. Uh oh. I shot the first three shots and fed seventeen fell. <laughs> But she did, she was done like this, so, mm-hmm. like she was writing it down. Told me, "Well, I'm gonna get you for this. Write you up for that." You know. So you just sat down and admitted all your. Oh yeah, that's what. That, if you know, hey, we had a wonderful time. But okay. you didn't tell. They is this her? People uh, beside that, you. That is that good looking thing. I already found her because I'm <laughs> possibly the greatest internet sleuth oh, of all no. time. You but are. But here's my yeah. favorite part. You're very good. Yeah. Boom! <laughs> Playing with a snake. Hey, that's that's no, your no, friend. Hey, look, when they showed me the that's picture, that's a rattlesnake. Yes, yeah, a rattlesnake. And look, and and she told us while we're sitting there eating. Wait, you a, said she was a game warden. She's a sheriff. No, she is. She's she became a game warden. This oh. is an article from 2023 about yeah. the game warden class. Well, she, was, oh. she was. Yeah, Don't she sleep was. on me. I'll find you. She oh, was wow. a police woman for six years in, in the state of Arizona. Well, how old is she? Okay. I don't know. Probably I'd say 24, if that. Cheyenne, you're invited on the show. 100%. Oh, no. She's got to come. The, you're the her. only game you're, warden I will extend this, in. No, no. this invitation. Right, she's in she she's, hey, she's going home with us here, here sometime. She's she going is. what? Thank she's going home, duck home with us. Now she ain't hunting with me, but she can sit down here and talk oh, no, with me. No, I still don't gonna, trust her in look, the, in the I field. told her. I mm. told her. I said, hey, well, that's look. That's another state. She's you're welcome state. to come to Eddie's Ranch, but you got to leave the snake at home. <laughs> but I'm interested. Did you just invite her to someone else's ranch? Huh? Only you. Yeah, she, hey. Well, I mean, he don't own none of that, but apparently he invited her duck hunting fields. That's so. right. And we, we ain't no home with Phil and Jace. I wanted the woman to have a good time. Oh. <laughs> Being stone. And and Cheyenne are going to be duck hunting somewhere down there on the property. Originally from San Diego. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Learn so a lot. I'm just interested in her story. So she started in San Diego, was a sheriff in Texas and or in Arizona, oh, yeah. and ended Police up woman. as a Texas game warden. Well, that was her so goal in close, life to be a game warden. All the time. I know she's crowding this area now. Yeah. What's she going? Is she yeah. going to end up being a federal game warden in Louisiana? Is the next <laughs> obvious step. <laughs> Like, a timeout now. But that's why we need to get her here and make friends. Oh, no. No. Like, yeah. we need to we need to find wow. out a little more. No, we all had a real good time. And she's a very she's a fabulous young lady. Okay. And I said, why in the world would you want to be a game board? And she said, that's just what I want to be. And I there said, well, there you go. That, you know what, you but know what hey, that tells me? Is she in, uh, there ain't a lot of gray in her life. Oh, no. Look, but she what she wants, she was telling Eddie. It's black and it's white. Yeah. She was telling Eddie. She said, hey, I want a six-foot rattlesnake. Okay. Don't blow its head off. Okay. Catch him. Catch him, and then I'm going to put him in a bucket and freeze him. And then I'm going to have him mounted and have him in my living room. And you sat and talked to this one? Oh, yeah. I sat beside her, but, hey, I was told her, hey, now we were... Me and you couldn't get along because hey, you like snakes. And I and see I if you were in if you were into social media and things, <laughs> uh, you would be making a post with them little red flags up everywhere, and it'd say number one game warden, yeah. number two, two plays snakes. with snakes. Yeah, snakes. Like okay, that's out. I mean, <laughs> I'm real confused. <laughs> wow, what a life! Uh, hey. There's a lot of rattlesnakes up there. Where so I'm what'd here. you learn from her? Anything? No, no. I, I was going to tell you. We use drones to look. For ducks on our property, so they're right now. There, that's the issue. Yes, yeah, okay. Issue. How you can how you can use a drone? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because now they got thermals. No, well that and you know some of them are big, and you can mount a gun on it. Yeah, you know, I see that. Leave it to human beings. Something's made to that would can be used for good, 
Well, they're going to go to the other side. Well, I they're going to use you, it for evil. I think the first drone came equipped with a weapon. Well, no, no. I'm I think they figured out they could then put a camera on it. Well, no, no. It. I'm just saying. So there, right now, you know, the laws are studying and fixed to be right laws about how you can use it. Yeah. You have to have a permit for, you know, how you use it. Put yeah, this. I do. The one that I, I don't. But see, the, here comes the problem because this is where humans get involved. Yeah. Like, there's places where you can't use them to aid in the recovery of game. No, no, yeah, which is that? That's wrong. That, that ought to be. You well, no, no, be able no. You should use it for that. But the problem is, you got the people that would use it wrongly, right? And go oh, yeah. up there and look, and then go kill him. And no, then, no. Then instead of using it for its intended, no, purpose. no. Yeah, yeah, that's the. Yeah. That's the rub. Well, no, no, that's why I was saying, you know, that's why the law is getting into it right now. And I, I'm telling you, there's being laws written of how you can use it. You yeah. got to have a permit for it and all this. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, when used correctly, they can be an invaluable no, no. resource. Yeah. Like, It'd be a there. great tool to have at your disposal. And look, as long as you stay about 600 feet or more up, ducks don't move from it. Yeah. Yeah. Just so I hear. You get below 600 that's feet, it, it gets Well, iffy. no, no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you better not like your drone too much is yeah. all i'm gonna yeah. tell you yeah. we've crashed a few yeah. but well hey i went fishing on the gulf and they was playing with it while we was at the dock mm -hmm. oh yeah and i told sinky i said y'all taking that out and we're gonna he said what i said what are you gonna do he said well when y'all get a big fish on i'm gonna film you. i said that'll never make it back to the to the dock. Show didn't. And it didn't. Like a second <laughs> flight ever. Yeah. It's down there with the Titanic. <laughs> second flight ever. I, he hit some of the riggers. Gone. And you heard splash. And he said, ooh. It was a small splash. Right, one drone on the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. For about a thousand. Bucks. There's more than one out there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's littered. Yeah. yeah. You know, that hey, that was the thing I told her. I said, them. look, you make some beautiful uh, videos with that. Mm-hmm. You know, I said, because I'll give you an example. We filmed when we was fishing a redfish down there with Captain Josh, you know, on that epic redfish where we caught 25 of the biggest big redfish, 20 to 50 pounds, you know, and this was a catch and release deal. We just caught them and fought them and had a good time and then turned them loose. They're too big to eat. You catch about six But, boy, it was fabulous really footage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When that drone went up, we got two boats about 10 yards apart. It looked like somebody dumped a thousand gallons of blood underneath the boats. <laughs> because the whole ocean was red. There's about a thousand big redfish in a school. Mm -hmm. Boy, that was a good trip, though. I guarantee oh, you. Oh, that was fun. I just, I'm still lost on the fact that you invited a game warden to come hunting them. yeah i missed oh, something course. i was yeah. too busy trying to find yeah. people on the internet that don't know that they're being found on the internet you looking for christine's replacement or something no <laughs> like you interviewing people no. something wrong with christine we don't no, know like i told her i said i'm harmless as a hill hound well we all know that <laughs> what's a hill well, she, kn she knows it now yeah. Cheyenne knows it yeah now. well we all know that i just trying to figure out why you invited a game board to come hunting <laughs> yeah that just feels like kissing your sister or something i don't really I know, know. like well, hey, look. i mean I don't want to hunt with a game warden. I don't either. And we do everything by the book, and I still don't want them right there beside me. Mm -mm. Like, I just They're going to be looking at you. I don't want to go fishing with one either. Like, Doesn't I sound just, fun. I, I don't. <laughs> Technicality. Yeah, I don't. So there's way too much interpretation of them laws that you can be in trouble and not even realize you're doing anything. And then one's blonde and size like. Uh, and then she's blonde and in South Texas. And he, hey, come on, like, move hey, come in. On. Like, yeah, come on down here. Y'all stop being you can be so hard on the man. woman. That's, hey, it's just her job. I'm not being hard on her. I'm being hard on the profession. <laughs> it's not her individual. Well, I'll fix that. Okay, because I was just a lady. All right. That's where they get you. Well, they got, She's hey, done yeah. earned your trust, step one. They well, got, hey. Yeah. That's like the blacklist type stuff. Raymond uh, Redditing going to come in here now. You, she was like, slicking you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you about to get snuffed out, big uh, dog. <laughs> she done earned your trust. That's all of it. Well, hey. That's it. Well, she yep. done that just being a woman. I guarantee you. She didn't have to try hard <laughs> for you. <laughs> Unbelievable. Got to break. Got a break, Mark. Yeah, well, I'm just trying to, while I figure out the all future right, boy, of this hey. company after this duck season. Yeah, hey, you got me, boy. Um, That's all I'll tell you. Hey, uh, I'll, I'll figure <laughs> out where we go, but let's take another break. We'll be back right after this. It's deer season, John. Yeah, oh, different Bambi. Different Bambi. Homonym.
But you know what, Bambi, we're talking about, Martin. Well, it's the one that helps you when you have HR nightmares like Sai. HR That's it, nightmares. Yeah, well, well, nightmare. You got to have something down with it. fixing to start. So. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, if we start calculating absences, we're going to have to report it to somebody mm-hmm. in HR. And Spake if you case. don't have an HR person, that's where Bambi can help you, right? I mean, instead of paying an expensive salary to somebody, you can pay just $99 a month. It is, I mean, you just never know with employees what they're going to do, especially with this crew. That's I it. mean, we're wild. Right. Yeah, look around at this bunch. Look, but Here if you want to, gone tomorrow. if you want to find out how to save a ton of money in the HR department and helping you run your business, talk to the folks at Bambi. With Bambi, you get access to your own dedicated HR manager starting at just $99 per month. They're available by phone, email, and real-time chat, so onboarding and terminations run smoothly. Team members reach peak performance, and your business stays compliant with changing HR regulations. They do it all for you. you I mean, it's, 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 a, with- it's a no-brainer. And with Bambi's HR Autopilot, you'll automate important HR practices like setting policies, training, and feedback. And the best part is your manager is United States-based. Boom. They know what kind of stuff you're going through. They've they're, they've worked with tons of small businesses. They know everything. You can talk to them whenever you want to, and you get access to the HR expertise and personal touch you need. HR managers can easily cost eighty grand a year, but Bambi starts at just $99 per month. Schedule your free conversation today to see how much Bambi can take off your plate. Go to Bambi.com right now and type in Duck Call Room under podcast when you sign up. It'll really help our show. Spelled BAM, B-E-E dot com, Bambi dot com, and type in Duck Call Room. Y'all got ear thing going on? I do. We both did. Uh, I'm uh, good now. James does too. I'm, I'm good still, now. It's been a month. Yep. I'm going to the ENT next week. Which one? Uh, I give up. I'm going to ears, ears nose, and throat. throat. He's going to ears, nose, and throat. Oh, I know that, but I mean, I'm <laughs> <laughs> all three of them. All three of them. I got to get a colonoscopy. Soon. Say ah. Uh. <laughs> I don't want to. I want, think I might not. You won't, remember. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> Whoa. What's she got on all them balls? <laughs> Martin, are you getting. <laughs> Is that at your house? Yeah, yeah, Jackson playing in the ball pit. <laughs> you got a whole ball pit? <laughs> That's a little tiny one. I like but, that. Oh, uh, I love it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't hear Yeah, I done uh, got like that little shark thing. What shark? Baby this shark? Little, this little yeah. shark toy. Oh, yeah. That I got with them. I, yeah, I, I do the baby shark thing with them, and they think it's hilarious. So, and then Waylon tries to feed the shark the balls from the ball pit. So, there you go. He like has the shark's mouth open yeah. the whole time, and yeah. he's trying to put the ball in his mouth. So, but right, whatever, you know, that's kids, man. Right. I never that's thought it. I'd be right. getting those kind of texts, yeah. and they'd make me smile. So, here right. we are. Yeah. But, um, no, we're back, and, um, you. Colonoscopy, huh? Colonoscopy. What? Oh, wow. I thought we were in a break. Colonoscopy, huh? <laughs> yep. I'm apparently going to have to get a pretty young one. So, okay. Johnny, dude, what, what, we alluded to it on our last episode oh, we did. in a commercial. I was going to just move on. No, we're not going to move on. So, you remember on. I was sick and I got an EKG the other day? Mm-hmm. Well, stuff went haywire over the next week. And I was, I mean, I was doubled over. I was hurting. Yeah. And then the weekend showed up. I was like, this is misery. <laughs> you get your heart checked. Now you get another part of it. <laughs> oh. So I think he's been scoped from the rooter to the tutor. <laughs> I, no, no, no. Day. I didn't get scoped. <laughs> they just took a whole picture of. From... Well, by the time it's done with, you will. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You fix when they get through with that, they're going down your throat. That's right. Yeah. So Angle. anyway, I, I thought maybe my appendix had exploded mm-hmm. in my chest and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> oh, big. You're Things fa- were going wrong. You're falling apart, Jay. And my mom, her appendix burst. And my mom, it burst three days before she went to the ER. Whoa. That's, that woman's tough. And she finally went. She passed by the ER. She was driving. And because it didn't seem like anybody was there, she went in. <laughs> and so I was like, well, maybe I'm just born with the yeah. toughness of my mother. And We this, all know that ain't true. Yeah, didn't think so either. <laughs> no. <laughs> And maybe that's what's wrong. And she was like, we, my mom said, you're going. You're getting you checked out. So yeah, she's thinking he's going to go sit in there for four hours like I did. She's, no, well, she went with me. Before she got waited No, let me tell you what Jan was thinking. I ain't counting them crickets no more. Yeah, that's <laughs> true, too. I got to keep my employee healthy. <laughs> so so right. me and mom went to the emergency room. That was like a week ago, I guess. Yeah. And I got the selfie. Yeah. I was may like, or may not be there tomorrow. Letting we y'all know. It, we I don't know what's happening. If I'm willing, but 
they they scanned me. They saw something in the intestines that's like I, we don't know what it is yet. Oh. We're gonna find out. Um, but I, I took like a bunch of horse pills all week, and I feel better now. You feel better? Yeah, I'm not. You have like a big movement? Maybe, no. No, oh, so that. That never happened. So whatever's in the intestines oh, is still in there. They saw okay. uh, it's in the abnormality. I'm fine. I might have uh, to, you know, change well, my diet, which me is hilarious. Like, because I just, I got old iron gut, but apparently it ain't made of iron no more. Apparently you got But a we at least spot. figured out what it is. And the dude was like, well, here's the deal. It could be, there was a thing he named it's not that he's pretty confident but if did he ever like reference your duodenum because uh, that's a word that doesn't get used enough i don't know what that is he did not okay i'm sorry but then duodenum. he said don't nothing even rhyme with that follow yeah. up and then maybe go get a colonoscopy you need to go to a uh what is those gastroenterologists uh -huh. yeah yeah, yeah. GI Gastro and he said probably want to go ahead and get that done because don't you get done at like 40 no 50 now ain't it 50 dead come <laughs> yeah yeah, or you could do sign poop in a box. Nah, I'm not doing I, that. You know. Oh, that's, that seems, that's much simpler. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's much simpler. I just don't know how I would catch it. Hey, all they, it hey they provide that. It comes with the apparatus. Yeah. yeah. All you, you got to do is sit down, drop it. You strap okay. it over your toilet seat. Yeah, yeah drop your load. Okay, I like and my box it up and send it out. No, I like yeah. the people at UPS far too much to do that. <laughs> hey, hey, look. Stamps.com and get it back there. It's too. sealed. Hey, hey, look. It's sealed in a, in a package. Sealed. sealed in a bucket first, Fine then in a package. Galvin, hmm? have you had a colonoscopy? I have. How was it? I don't remember. See, they put you to sleep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You, you just wake up and you feel the same. It'll make you feel like a cowboy after riding a horse about two days. Oh. That didn't make me feel like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Riding a horse is much co more comfortable. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> well, so then well, I made the mistake of going to work, and you know all them old dudes around the table, specifically a guy named Doug and a guy named Cooney, that's not his real name, but that's what everybody calls him yeah. since he was born. I'll tell you, you won't. Yeah. Doug, and I Doug said, y'all got a colonoscopy done? And then they just went to straight horror stories, which is apparently what you do when you get old. You sit around at a tackle shop telling horror stories of your colonoscopies. <laughs> and so now I'm thinking, like, maybe death is worth it. Like, I don't know if I want to do this anymore. Huh. I always uh, thought I'd be the guy who's like, yeah, it's something you got to do. Let's go. But yeah. now that it's something I got to do, I'm like, maybe not. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. I'm going to do it. It ain't bad. Yeah. Just a little embarrassing at first. Well, because well, you got a little mild family history anyway. With, yep. With but it ain't nothing to it. So. You won't remember it. Yeah, so I'm going to I'm gonna go sign up for one. It's well, be it's better to be safe than sorry. When you wake up. I'm ask, not pooping in a box, though. When you wake up, ask the doctor if it was twins. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just see if you can get a good laugh out of it. Yeah, <laughs> but the the real horror story is apparently got to drink something the night before. If them nurses oh, look yeah. at you, yeah, you got to drink that bottle of yeah. oh yeah of magma. Yeah, and it just is a cleanse like no other. Oh, apparently. it's you better be in the bathroom when you drink it. Hunter, you've had a colonoscopy? No, I've never had a colonoscopy, but I've had to drink that stuff once because I was on a dare. No, uh, <laughs> when I was fifteen, I was like constipated for a whole month, and uh, the last oh. result. Re uh, the, the, yeah, last resort. Re yeah, yeah resort. Yeah. The last resort was that. I had to drink a gallon of it. How'd that treat you? Awful. It's the worst night of my life. Did really? you get the, the next morning? Did you? Did you? Did you get? You got the blockage out though. Oh yeah. Like, did you hit the roof when it came out? Good night. It, a month. It wouldn't. It wouldn't come out for hours. So I had to go get a at home enema. <laughs> Mm. Who did that? Hunter. Myself. <laughs> you gave yourself an enema? I did. Oh, good grief. Wow. Did you use a mirror? If we talk about girls, Hunter's the most embarrassed kid on the planet, but at home enemas, yeah. he's hey, like, hey, yeah. hold on, let me press the, this the button. Man I got a story to tell. Doctor. Yeah. He got so himself yeah. the enema. conversation for He gave oh, yeah. himself yeah. an enema yeah, without the aid of a mirror. Are you just, oh. hey, good shooting text. <laughs> no, this kid is big enough for I'd have, I'd have, no, I'd have, no. I'd have, I'd have, I'd have went to squeeze and said, nope. I would I have mean, said, y'all can cut like this you. out of me I'd before I, I do I, that. I, I, I'd have, no, I could have pulled that I, out. I'd have said, nope, nope. I'd have just made a mess in the floor. Oh, yeah. You talk about Hunter and you're like, hey, man, you ever driven to the movies in Texas? And he's like, kind of sheepish about it and doesn't want to be embarrassed. And it's like, but buddy, this one time I was plugged up. <laughs> 
and had to take and had to drink me some magnesium citrate, and then I had to give myself that an animal. Work, so no, it was called an it was called go lightly. There yeah, go go. lightly is what it's called. Yeah, go lightly. Why did they say that? I don't and think... it was lemon flavored. I cannot eat anything lemons anymore. No right. <laughs> <laughs> the so, last time he I had lemonade, know. he was fifteen. So when size over here smashing him lemon package, it just oh. gives you PTSD, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 He's having, yeah. he's going. I love you so much, Hunter. Flashbacks, boy. That was the there best. There we go. All right, new rule. Beth's not allowed. <laughs> Beth, yeah. you're out. <laughs> Beth's out. <laughs> Beth, you're out. These guys have way too much of a filter on them when you're here, Beth. <laughs> yeah. You're out. Sorry. Hunter just told his sixteen year old at home enema story yeah do the parents listen with your children we're sorry but we're also not because this is the funniest thing i've ever i mean i don't know who i'd have asked to help me with that at 15 15 16 yeah. no. no my mom handed me the bottle and said i can't help you with this and that's a good point I, <laughs> that's what i'm saying but i mean i'd have had to have help no yeah uh, no the boy yeah. became a man that day sir <laughs> <laughs> Why would There's you some things you, you can't get help with, and I mean, that's one of them. That's not a bris. Hey, that's something you I don't mean, have like, a friend to help with. So it could be worse, John David. You could yeah. have to do that. Yeah. I don't think you will, but no, I'm good with that. <laughs> wow, what a life! Hmm. I don't. My man gave himself an enema. Yeah, Martin just at keeps saying that sentence over. And over. Well, I mean, because you know he was in a bind. Right. Like, yeah, you know, saying, so that's what if I'm saying. So I don't know bind, how you. That's why I said good shooting. If you get in a bind, you'll do anything. I don't know. I know. I'd have, I'd have called somebody. I don't know who. Yeah, who yeah. would you call? I don't know, but I'd have, probably. Nah, hey, most of your friends, they're going to, hey, you know, hey, I need, no. Well, when I was 16, I camera gonna... phones, I mean, you could have seen something, but like, it'd have been like a Bigfoot video. So, like, I wouldn't. Now, today, you'd be in trouble. You'd be in a bind. Because you'd be able to see everything. Because you know if you ask your buddy, they're going to video you. Yep. And then hopefully get it on Snapchat <laughs> oh, or, yeah. or Viral Hog. That's or why I don't have friends. You know, but like back then, that, that Motorola Razor wouldn't have got that good. It would have nah. been like grainy. It looked like Tetris probably. But I'd have had to have some help. No chance I'd I just do that don't by know myself. who I could ask for help at that age. Because now I'm trying to figure out, and I don't need to know everything. I, see, it's the biologist in me. I got did you lay down or did you stand up? <laughs> like, how'd you get there? I was, I was basically. Or were you like squatted? I was like squatted over the toilet. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's what you do. Okay. I just, just I was uh, curious. My, See, I mean, I got lots of questions. My mom <laughs> laid out like plastic tarp all over the bathroom just what in case. Oh, wow. <laughs> Y'all had like a whole Dexter thing going. Yeah. <laughs> it's the okay. most embarrassing day of my life. Okay. Well, I'm Appar- glad we can relive it. Apparently not. Oh, yeah. no. It's so funny. I don't care you about that. You just shared it with the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Lord forbid we bring up a girl. Oh, Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah oh, don't bring boy, up a yeah. girl. Yeah. Nope. Hey, you know what? From now on, I've hearing that story, I'm not going to. So mm-hmm. uh, uh, wow, yeah. what a life. Let's take our last break uh, and we'll be back right after this. Woo. Hello at duckcallroom.com. <sighs> Inbox. We're there. We've made it. Can you believe it? We've made it. I just hope uh, Hunter has an email in. Wow. Mm. I, I was ready and now I'm not. Oh, Jason from Memphis, Tennessee hey. emails in and he the has blue. a question for you, Martin, but I feel like this is the crew that would know. Oh, excuse me. It's a duck hunting question. Oh, very okay. easy right. for you guys, not for me. They're st- starting to timber part of their duck lease this year. Do ducks still land in cut timber woods or will they go to thicker areas? Martin? Yes. Martin says yes. Yes. Yes to all. Yeah. He's good. The later it gets, the thicker it is. Early season, they'll they'll go to the wide open stuff. Later it gets, the the, the thicker you need. Yeah, they hunt the thickets. Yeah. So he's good. Yeah, you're good. Either good. opening day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, whack them. Yep. Not They're coming. That, that was the easiest question ever. Mm-hmm. Well, he didn't have social media. Also, one other entry for the Duck uh, Dynasty Nobody ever did the duck call room. Uh, what's it called? Halloween costume. But they did a bunch of Duck Dynasty ones. Yeah. And Haley emailed in and wanted this one thrown up. That's a pretty good one because there's an actual duck. Oh, wow. Uh, mm. you and Willie's in cut off blue jean shorts, yeah. which makes okay. sense. And who lost the bet having to wear neoprene waders? Ooh. Man, they're not. Well, that's kind of cool on Halloween. So Where, good were they at? Where were they at? That is Haley from San Antonio, Texas. No, they were not cool. Oh, wow. 
Man. Mm. I hope y'all bought him a breakfast taco or her. I'm not sure. <laughs> they Honestly. had a beard. It's hard to tell yeah. what was happening well, there. That was apparently at somebody's work. Um, Question for Godwin. All right. Bring it out. What happened to the jackalope that you got on Duck Dynasty? They're searching the web to find one like that. <laughs> a standing full body mount cannot find one. Oh, you, you'd you have to look. You'd have to find one at a taxidermy. Do you, you have? Do you there? still have that? Yeah. Is it in your living room? It is not. <laughs> no, it got moved out of a jackalope out of common areas. Yep. But it gives you a weird sensation when you go to use the restroom at his house. Yeah. <laughs> it's like somebody's watching you. Yeah. Kind of cool. There's a jackalope in your bathroom. Yeah. As soon as you find it, you won't see it when you first walk in. <laughs> <laughs> you generally don't see it till you get done. <laughs> hey. Yeah. hey don't turn around you never know out there in calhoun buddy mm. that stuff works as good as go lightly you're being watched <laughs> yeah that's right you're being watched oh man do you have a bunch of tarps down on your bathroom no. floor like your hunter's no. mom no mm. oh boy no, dexter ain't oh. been to his house we had to take a really long break just for everybody to know oh, yeah <laughs> since the last one Wow. And I still haven't fully recovered. All right. Tom emails in. What is it, Martin? Bow. A house cat? Why do people think small cats are Black Panthers? Yeah, I don't know. Because in the words of their hero, Uncle Si, have y'all uh, ever seen a baby Black that's Panther? That's right. Have you seen go. a baby Black Panther? Baby so now Black the Panther. world is full of juvenile Black Panthers, but yeah. yet no adult ones have been seen. That's not true. There are adult ones. I know, and they're leopards and jaguars. And not mountain lions. And panthers. Okay. Oh, my. Go Carolina. What? I don't know. Aren't they a Black Panther, the Carolina football Panthers? I don't know. Oh, gross. They're terrible. Yeah. I don't know. All right. Anyway, Steve from Clovis, California. This will probably be our last one. His family has watched Duck Dynasty every Sunday before church. There you go. That's dedication. Steve, what time are you waking up? All right. He listens to the podcast, loves the blind movie. It, hey, he's in on awesome. everything. But he has an important military question for Uncle Si. His wife, natural redhead, also orders her steak light pink. Don't. Let's not go there, Steve. <laughs> um, he's been married eight years. He just recently enlisted into the U.S. Army. Thank you. And his leave date is real soon, like in two weeks. Any advice, Cy, as a man trying to balance out being a good husband, father, and going into the military? Well, you, you know, your wife will probably do this to you because mine did it to me. I always felt I wasn't there. A lot because I was always deployed or busy with with what the army needed me to do. Then she would break out the the photo albums and say, "Well, here you are being uh, the Easter Bunny. You know, here you are being Santa Claus. Here you are being this, doing this." So no, just give them the best you can give them, both of them, your job wise and your family. You know, what time you do have, make it. Yo, very productive. Hey, Amen. You, you were the Easter Bunny? Oh, yeah. yeah I done all kind of crap. Have, I, did, I didn't remember doing it. Can you bring that picture? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, you'd oh, have yeah. to get that from my wife. I'd love. Does she have a picture of you as the Easter uh, Bunny? Oh, no. Yeah. I'd love yeah. to see nah. Cy si yeah. like no, no. some weird yeah. 1970s rabbit Oh, costume. no. A you know what foot, he looked like? A six kid foot from three, a Christmas a story. Six <laughs> foot three. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> a, a six foot three Easter Bunny. The Pepto Bunny? He's a pink knight. Pink. Pink Easter Bunny. Did oh. you shoot your eye out? Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I put up didn't Christmas have a red lights. <laughs> Is that too soon? Christmas lights? Yeah. I waited till the first weekend in November. To each their own. Hey, that's to each to their own. People said that was too soon. I was like, I did not hey, know before that's, Halloween. That's because they're lazy and don't Who, want to do it. Whose Christmas is Yeah, it? I ain't doing it. Yeah. Jesus's? Well, I know. You, hey, you put them up. You're hey, the one that's celebrating it, right? Here's what I'll tell hey, everybody out Christmas. there. In my opinion, you put them up when you want to, take, them, take down them down when you want, when you want to. to. Yeah. It's your life. 
That's right. There's sure. nothing to worry about. If I put yeah. them up, I ain't coming back down. There you go. So, I mean, <laughs> well, they right. go from Just Christmas lights to Valentine's lights what? to Easter lights. There you yeah. go. You know what the yeah. worst part, though, was? What? I had to switch out some strands from last year, and I got the wrong, like, it's warmer. or didn't, so it's You like, got different color lights? Yeah, one strand right there in the middle. Yeah, well. Well, hey. Probably going to stick with it, you can You can do that in the back of the neighborhood, but you at the front of the neighborhood, I mean, yeah. you got you got I need you to class that up a little what? bit. It was kind kind of rough however i just let it roll it was a you know i had one weekend i was like i can knock this out now yeah it's not gonna get done until <laughs> december so i knocked it out yeah and last email uh my man gage lives in indiana bought a duck commander um wood duck call okay mm-hmm and accidentally, it actually worked. And, and he worked. got a Woody. Because he's got it in his hand. That's my man Gage's first duck. Dang, that's a pretty Woody, too, yeah. for this early in the year. Sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's up there in Indiana. Awesome. Though. Man, my that's, man got some fingers on it. That's what was under me. He's going to be an offensive lineman, big dog. You see the size of him hanging? Oh, yeah. I didn't. He got a pair of mitts. Uh, yeah, he does. Does. You see the size of him hanging? He's, he's, he's only 11. Mitts. I know. He's 11, and I know yeah. the size of a Woody, and his hands almost wrap around him at he's 11. He's calm and a yeah. basketball. Yeah. Don't come down here, Gage, because Phil's going to name you something like Gage Big Hands or oh, something no. like that. Oh, yeah. oh, hands of the Wood Duck, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 hands. That's oh, what he yeah. was. So, but, no, my, my man Gage going to be a – beast big dog he gonna be playing for the hoosiers or something i'm like pretty that. well i think he's uh, from the they, they sent it over facebook it looks like and i think he's he's got a little of that feel in him he ain't, he ain't worried about that he ain't worried about that life he worried well, about wood ducks and other things well good for mm. you gage that's good that's good all right send us out send here, us out of here james 112 blessed is the man who perseveres under trial because when he has stood the test he will receive the crown of life that god has promised to those who love him and that's a good one amen what a james promise james 112 boys what a promise we'll see y'all next time right here in the oh, that is call james. room